Hey friends of YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Samurai Monkey 42 where I review World War II Japanese antiques. In this video, I want to show you guys a good example of the classic Type 95 Japanese sword. This is something that will help you guys for those who are looking forward to of, uh, buying a Type 95 Japanese sword. I'm going to give you guys a few tips of what to look for when buying the this type of uh, Japanese NCO swords. So this is the classic Type 95 which is in really good condition if you're looking to buy one. It has almost all the paint, brown paint and the yellow paint here. Not all this type 95 Japanese NCOs swords have all the paint. Some of them are missing a lot of the paint, maybe like 70% of the paint. But this one has almost all the brown paint and yellow paint here. So these are the ones that are just quite rare to find. Another thing that is just very rare to come across when buying a type 95 Japanese sword is finding the leather tassel. Also finding the buckle leather tassel like this one and this is quite a long leather tassel also it's, it's, it's pretty long as you can see it's wrapped around the handle and also comes all the way over here I don't know if maybe the Japanese were running out of leather but on some of the NCOs produced later during the war the tassel is shorter so this one you can see is super long these were used sometimes to for different purposes like use this as a tourniquet or sometimes for enemies You can see that this is an early edition because it has the it has the bra, brass suba. Some things you got you guys want to look for when buying a Type 95 is look at the paint. You see the discoloration here. This is possibly because the older the carry is was rubbing against this here. So that's the type of, of discoloration that you want to look for when buying the Type 95 NCO sword. This is how the tassel should look. There's a little bit of leather nesting here over time. This is actually made out of pigskin. Okay, so let me, let's try to open the sword now. I have the sword open now. This is quite a beautiful piece, a beautiful design by the Japanese on this Type 95 NCO sword. And this one, the serial number, is 131972 and it's in really good condition the blade is is it is great it has the the tip is polished here which is that's kind of hard to find when buying a type 95 japanese or two that's another thing you want to look for i mean you want to have the blade presentable if you're adding it to your collection and these are just becoming more scars just kind of are becoming even though they were massively produced all of a sudden you just don't see them anymore and you just don't see them in this type of condition so someone uh, just recently purchased uh, this one for me so it's going into someone else's uh, collection all right so uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe so I can keep on making videos on Japanese antiques uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, for those who have been watching my uh, shorts, thank you so much as, uh, as well. Sayonara.